going to talk about binomial expansion. And what does that mean? It means if I have a binomial like x plus 4, I am raising it to the fourth power. I have different ways I can expand that and I, different ways I can multiply that. So the first thing we're going to do is look at what does that mean to raise a binomial to the fourth power. Well, it means I have four of these terms. So I have an x plus 4 times another x plus 4 times another x plus 4 times a fourth x plus 4. And I have to multiply all of those together. So what I can do is that I can do what we call FOIL, which is multiply the first two together and get an answer. Do the same thing back here, multiply these two together, which will be the same thing. Then I take those two trinomials and I have to multiply all those terms together. Okay, and you can get an answer. But there's actually another way to do it. And we're going to use Pascal's triangle to expand this. Okay, so what is Pascal's triangles? Pascal's triangle are the coefficients when you raise binomials to different powers. So if I have a binomial, we'll just call that a plus b. And we're raising it to the zero power. Anything to the zero power is one. Well, if I have a plus b and I'm raising it to the first power, that's just going to be a plus b. So the lead coefficients are going to be 1 and 1 because it would just be a plus b. Now, if I raise it to the second power, I have an a plus b squared. I would take a plus b times a plus b, and I would FOIL it, right? And I would get a times a is a squared. A times B is AB, B times A is AB, and B times B is B squared. So I would get A squared plus AB plus AB is 2AB plus B squared. So what are my coefficients? 1, 2, and 1. So that's what is on this layer of Pascal's triangle. Now what you can see is these are generated actually from adding the two, the layer before. So what we're going to do, I'm going to try to squeeze in a one right here to draw the next layer, write the next layer. I would add these two coefficients and if I cube a binomial, my lead coefficients are going to be 1, 3, 3, 1. If I raise it to the fourth power, a plus b to the fourth, my lead coefficients are going to be 1, 4, 6, 4, and one. So you can see each layer I'm adding, I'm adding the coefficients in the triangle. Okay, so what I've done is I've created this fourth layer, which is the problem I started with. Okay, so there are my coefficients to my terms. Now I've got to figure out what my terms are. Okay, so in this example, I'm going to take x plus 4 to the fourth power, and I've now generated my lead coefficients of 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first term and I'm going to raise it to the fourth power. And then the first term is going to descend. Now I'm going to raise it to the third power. And the third term it's going to be raised to the second power. And the fourth term is going to be raised to the fifth, first power. And the last term I raise it to the zero. So you can see the first term has a descending exponents. Now for the second term I'm going to take my second term and I'm going to ascend my exponents. So I'm going to go down here I'm going to have 4 to the 0, 4 to the first, 4 to the second, 4 to the third, and 4 to the fourth. So I've taken this x plus 4 and I'm now expanding it and I've got my five terms. Okay so now let's simplify all these. So each column is going to represent the term in my binomial answer. So the first term is going to be 1 times x to the 4th times 4 to the 0. We know 4 to the 0 is just 1. So this is going to be x to the 4th. The second term, they're all positive. I'm doing a positive one first just to show you. I'm going to have 4 times 4 times x cubed. So that's 16x cubed. The next term my coefficient is going to be 4 squared, which is 16. And then 16 times 6, let's see, 16 times 6 is 96. So the coefficient is 96x squared. OK, 
Okay, the next term is going to be 4 cubed times 4. Let's see, 4 to the 4th. 4 cubed is 64, and then times 4, it's going to be 256. And that will be x to the 1st. And then 1 times x to the 0, when we know that's just 1. And then we have, um, oh, that's supposed to be to the 4th power. It's supposed to ascend cube and then 4th. So 4 to the 4th is 256, because I just multiply that. So there we go. That is how I would expand x plus 4 using Pascal's triangle. And we have our answer. So there's my first example. And you can look for another video. I'm going to do one that has a negative or subtraction in my binomial. And it changes your answer slightly. So check back for that other example.